If you are wondering, what credit score do I need to buy a house in 2021? Stick around, because that's what I'm talking about today. Hey friends, Mary Howard here with There's No Place Like Home NC, Red Boots Realty, powered by EXP Realty. And on this channel, I provide educational content to help buyers and sellers while they're deciding whether to buy or sell a home. Today we're going to be talking all about credit and credit scores. And first, I need to say that I am not a lender. I have no formal education in the lending process and this is all just information that I have acquired from my past experience. If you need information, please reach out to a licensed loan officer. All right, so with that all being said, if you're still here, then you really are asking, what does your credit score need to be for you to purchase a home in 2021? And the short answer is it depends on what type of mortgage that you are trying to obtain. Your credit score will differ whether you're applying for a loan that's insured by the FHA, one that is insured by the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs, or if you're trying to get a conventional mortgage from a private lender. FHA loans are insured by the Federal Housing Administration, making them much less risky for lenders. And because of this, it is easier to qualify for than the conventional loans. The FHA requires a minimum score of a 580 and requires a down payment of 3.5%. So just to make the numbers easy, if you're purchasing a home and it costs $100,000, your down payment, if you were using an FHA loan, would be $3,500. $100. Now that's separate and in addition to your closing cost. Conventional mortgages are home loans that follow the standards set by Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. They're uninsured by any government agency and if your credit score is solid, most lenders consider a FICO score of a 740 or higher to be excellent. You'll usually be able to qualify for a conventional loan with low down payment requirements and low interest rates. Conventional loans are typically the best for those with good or excellent credit, as these loans require a higher credit score than the FHA loan. These loans also tend to offer more competitive interest rates and the flexible repayment period, so you could get a 15-year mortgage or a 30-year mortgage term. VA loans, if you meet the requirements, they are insured by the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs, and they can be a smart financial move because these loans don't require any down payment at all. And they're also available to borrowers with lower credit scores, but you gotta meet those requirements. And they are, you must be a member or a veteran of the US military or a member or a veteran of the US military reserves or national guard, a spouse of a member who has died while in activity or be the spouse of a member that has a disability that was service related. VA loans do charge a one-time funding fee, but these fees vary depending on your down payment and the type of military service that you've logged. The Department of Veterans Affairs set no credit score limit, but like FHA loans, the private lenders will originate these loans and these lenders typically have their own in-house minimum requirement standards. It's very important for you to know your credit score and understand what affects it before you begin the mortgage process. Understanding what factors go into the credit score can help you start impacting your credit in a positive way, giving you the best chance to qualify for a mortgage. Lenders will first look at your FICO score and that'll come from one of the three major credit bureaus and they are Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. And these three companies take different variables and create this FICO score. Uh, the variables are your payment history, the amount that you owe, the length of the credit history, so how long you've had credit, um, any new accounts that you've taken uh, on. The lenders will then look at your income and make sure that you make enough money each month to afford your payments. And they'll look at your debt to income ratio, making sure that your total monthly debts including your new mortgage payment, will not use more than a certain percentage of your gross monthly income. If it does, then you're probably not getting that mortgage. 
they'll look at the down payment that you have and typically the bigger your down payment the more likely that you'll be able to qualify for a mortgage with lower interest rates because the more that you have to put down the more confidence the lender has that you are going to be a good risk for them to lend to they are gonna also look at your savings and make sure that you have available funds if for some reason you lose your income typically they want to see at least two months of mortgage payments and they're going to want to look at your employment history and usually they like to see that you worked at the same place for at least two years or at the very minimum in the same industry for two years if you don't know your credit score you can order a copy from all three credit bureaus every year for free and that website is annualcreditreport.com. Once you get these reports, do check them and make sure there are no errors. And if there are errors, then contact that bureau and dispute them, have them fix it. It will immediately raise your credit score. If you wanna keep an eye on your credit score monthly, there are services out there for a small monthly fee and you will get an update monthly. I say it all the time, knowledge is power. And if your credit isn't where it needs to be for you to purchase a house, fortunately, it's possible to repair your credit. But there's no easy fixes. It takes time to improve your credit score. You gotta pay your bills on time every month. When you make credit card payments or mortgage loans or auto loans, student loans late, it's gonna smack your credit score in the gut. <laughs> so, <laughs> in summary, the credit score that is required for you to buy a home will vary based on the type of loan that you're looking to qualify for. And if you still have questions, feel free to leave a comment below or call me and I can put you in touch with my favorite super stellar loan officers to answer all of your questions and help you all along the way. If you like this video, please consider hitting that thumbs up button below or leave me a comment. And if you have any ideas about future videos, please leave those in the comment section below also. Take care. Thank you for watching this video. Click the link below to watch the next video. Don't forget to hit that icon bell to subscribe. This is Mary Howard with There Is No Place Like Home NC.